All right, here's the video on how I have my horns wired to work with my regular horn. I've got, you'll have to find on your vehicle where the horn relay is. And my relay used to slide in to right here. So I found, I've got the, uh, I believe it's a ground and the positive that when I hit my horn, it uh, it goes through the actual horn button and comes back out here. And I've got the separate relay just taped up here, wiring. And uh, so when you hit the horn button, it opens this relay. And I have 120 volts running to the contacts on that relay. The, the actual magnet is powered with the 12 volts from the vehicle. And I've got just a little 140 140 watt power inverter here, and this plug just runs to the to the through the relay when you hit the button. The contacts do not touch. I would advise you to test with a multimeter to make sure that the the pass through contacts do not have any resistance along with the magnet contacts. I also use it, I plug my phone in off of it and charge it while I'm going. I've also used it to power a couple lights in the house while while power is out for, for a day or so, just to have some kind of light. Um, I've got this wired on and off so it's not on all the time. It used to just be one that plugs into your cigarette outlet and I didn't, didn't want it sitting there. I've usually got it covered up. I've got it on a switch on my dash turn it on, turn it off, but it just runs, I don't know if you can hear the fan right now, sometimes it's loud when it's cold, um, then I have 120 volts running from that relay all the way back, I go down through my firewall and under my truck, and it comes back to my horns, I'll try and zoom in here. You can see my, my ASCO, the green relay there, or the uh, valve. All in all, I'd, it would be easier just to order a 12 volt valve off of, off of the internet. I don't know if you would have to run it through a relay. I don't know how much power they pull. You might have to run it through a relay from your horns instead of just through the button or you could just splice off of oh, you could just splice off of your horn wiring up up here wherever it is I can't remember where I've got mine but under your dash you could just splice off of that and then right, run right down your frame rail up to the valve that would be easier they're you know twelve fifteen dollars something like that this is a half inch ASCO red top or red cap. It work, works great. But uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Works pretty good. Very loud in here. But that's it. Thank you.